Hello everybody, Colleen here with Chalk Couture. I'm just coming in tonight doing a fun little project uh, with Chalk Couture Candy Hearts Transfer. Can you see all the pieces I have laid out up here? All the cute little candy hearts and all the awesome little sayings for the candy hearts. I did a project um, with this prior, so that's why all my pieces are already cut apart and labeled, but I'm just gonna take my um, snowman, which I started to do, and then I thought, hey, let's go on and do a quick little live and show you how easy it is to remove the chalk paste from glass. And this actually even has um, some glitter on it too, which is, oof, glitter, but it looked cute for Christmas, and now I'm going to, to change it out for Valentine's. How fun. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Eileen. I hope you guys are staying warm. I think we're getting freezing rain out there right now. Ooh, it's horrible. So why not do a little chalk tour and stay in where it's nice and warm? And actually, you know what's kind of cool with this too is I'm just using my nail and it's actually, the, the pressure of using your nail on this just makes it come right off of glass. It's so easy. So then you can start all over again with your next project. So then I'm glad I actually put a paper towel down on my table. Not that it matters because my table is beat up. I was just painting uh, or whitewashing, I should say, a bunch of little boards that I had. So I was working on that tonight and I got paint everywhere. Um, so I don't know why I care that my table is going to get paint on it and chalk paste. Ooh, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, voila, easy peasy, fresh new glass. I can now start with my next project. I love these little jars, or vases, or jars, or whatever you, you wanna call them. They're from the dollar store, and I actually use them for, for everything, to be honest with you. I use them for Halloween, for Christmas, with my little snowman on there. And now we're gonna switch it up to Valentine's. And the candy hearts are one of my absolute favorite candies besides Swedish fish. Love this idea to sit inside and chalk. Oh, you got that right, Jess. Definitely a good night to sit inside and chalk. I just want to make sure that that's not wet. I'm just using my hand a little bit. And then I'm going to fill it up with the, with the candy hearts inside there once I'm done. So cute. I actually can't take the credit for it. I saw it on one of our uh, Facebook pages and another designer had done something very similar so as I mentioned I did um, use the candy hearts previously so that all the pieces are cut apart and they do have a B for back on there so I know that um, this is this the shiny side where I need to replace my transfer when I am finished with it because they are reusable so we want to make sure that we are putting it on the right side this is the paper side so you don't want to accidentally put your transfer on the other side. Sorry, I do have paint on my hands. I just noticed that on the camera. And um, because they are reusable, you want to take care of them, clean them when you're finished. And, um, and they will last you for a while. So let's just put some hearts around here. These are actually pretty, pretty big. And you know what? Because I am using glass, I'm going to fuzz this up. And what that means is I'm simply putting the transfer sticky side down right on my pants and that will pick up some of the fuzz from my pants and that way it won't stick too hard to the glass because the, the transfer is sticky on this side so you just want to make sure it's not too too sticky and then you can't get your transfer off and what winds up happening is that you stretch your transfer and you definitely do not want to do that. So we're just going to quickly peel off the back from the back, fuzz it on my pants, and then just uh, haphazardly kind of lay them around all over the um, vase. And just watch if you're if you are overlapping that the one piece of the transfer is not overlapping into the other. Um, see, I don't know if you can see that here, just so that this piece here is not coming through. See how I overlapped it a little bit? So long as that's not coming through on the silk screen, you are good to go. So I'm just trying to make quick work of this tonight, and that's why I'm just gonna put them all on, and um, 
and take them real take all these off real quick because I have the cute little words that we can put uh, on top of these hearts when they are dry so how fun is that just like the candy candy hearts okay now when you are putting your silk screen transfer on any medium whether it is glass or um, sorry I'm just looking to see who's there hello Tiffany um, whenever you are putting it on any medium, whether it's glass or a chalkboard, you always want to make sure that you're not feeling any bubbles inside your silk screen. And I'm just double checking that I'm not feeling any bubbles because when you go to, to peel your um, transfer off, it's going to leave like a funky little, uh, I don't know how you can describe it. It's like a, uh, like a bubbly kind of, kind of residue if, if you have uh, a bubble in your transfer, so... Um, let me just fuzz this one up. I'm just putting that right on my pants just to get it fuzzy again. And that way it doesn't stick, especially for glass. You definitely want to make sure that you get the sticky side of your transfer a little, a little fuzzed up. Now what's happening here is I am going to wind up overlapping here. So I'm not going to push that down. This way I can just kind of get all my transfers down. And then I can just boom, 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 because there's quite a few different hearts in this set. So um, it's actually kind of perfect for this project. I can just get them all down and then um, just put my color on and get them all right back off. How fun. Uh, and I'm just going kind of like here and there, not really even kind of being very random with where I'm placing these. And I actually have one more heart left. So let's put that on here. I think I could fit that right in this space here. We'll go this. Oh, I forgot to fuzz it. See, I'm talking and I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. Make sure I got that a little bit fuzzy. Just tilting it a little bit. And that actually worked out whoop, pretty well that they're not really overlapping each other. So I did get all six on this little vase. That's so awesome. So we can just get these all on here real quick. Pretty easy. Okay. So now that we have our transfers on there, I just am going to go ahead and actually open up all my chalk paste. And some of these chalk paste I haven't used for a little while, you can see. It's a little dried out. So I just add a little bit of water. You add a little first. You can always add more. I actually, this is, um, this is orchid, and I actually need to purchase some new orchid because this I have had since July. And I'm getting down to the bottom of my jar. You can actually purchase these two ounce little jars that do go a very, very long way. Um, they are $8.99 in my online store, which I will post to the comments below. And like I said, if it does dry out, no fear. Just add a little bit of water like I'm doing and you can bring it right back to life. So for the different hearts on my vase, what I'm going to use is the orchid. I have mint as well. Just want to get all these jars ready to go, opened up, make sure that I am stirring them all. Now you can see my mint, I haven't used that in months. So I'm just adding a little bit of water. And I'm gonna, this one really needs a little help. It's been a little while. And actually, you know what I'm gonna get? Because these sticks are not quite as strong as the other sticks that I have which I'm not seeing any, don't have any right in front of me. So you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and just give it a little force here. Like I said, not to worry, I get every last ounce that I can out of these jars. So we're just going to stir, stir, stir. This is a really pretty color mint. I'm going to have to invest in some more chalk base. I've been doing so many projects and having so much fun that I'm gonna have to restock. Okay, our mint is ready to go. I actually have Dreamsicle. This one I haven't actually used in a long while either. Um, probably was using it around Halloween time. But again, that one's actually not too bad and I haven't used that in a while. I am gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of water though. And you can see this really doesn't take any time at all. It's just getting it prepped and ready to go, making sure that all your chalk paste are in good working condition to just go ahead and put all these colors on. Then I have awesome lemon. 
And we'll get that one opened as well. And again, that one's actually pretty decent. I used that not that long ago. I think I used this when I did the candy hearts earlier on another project. And the last but not least is bubblegum. And I know that this one, actually, you know what? I'm actually going to skip bubblegum because I am at the bottom of that jar. So let's just skip the bubblegum. We have some pretty awesome colors here to work with. I think we're good. Let me get my little squeegees out. And I've got a couple that I had cut up. Your small squeegees, which are um, on the online store, are 450, and they come in this size. And I cut them down uh, to have uh, smaller pieces so that I can work and have a bunch of little pieces ready to go so I can use all the different colors that I have, especially when I'm doing multiple color project like this. So um, I'm just going to have a, a few of these ready to go. So I'll show you with the first one how we get that on. So we're just going to take a little bit of chalk paste from here, from our jar, and just where the silk screen is, we're just going to cover with the chalk paste. It's pretty easy. Just going to put it on. Now I see I, I may have missed a bubble in there because I see how it bubbled up. You can, I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. But it's okay, because the great thing with chalk couture and chalk paste is that it's erasable with water. So if something doesn't come in out, doesn't come out perfectly, not a big deal. We just put a little bit of water on there and get it right off. Not a big deal. Okay, so there's one in mint. So let's see. Let's just see what happened. I can see the bubble, but it might not be the end of the world. Actually came out pretty cute. I like the mint. It's a pretty color. And it doesn't really matter because we're going to be putting words over top of that anyway. So what I'm doing with this now that I have chalk paste on the front of this, I'm putting it into a tray of water. And by letting it sit and soak in the tray of water, it actually um, gets some of the chalk paste off for you. And then you can just go ahead and clean it. Just make sure you get all the chalk paste off of your silk screen transfer. And usually you can follow up with a Clorox wet wipe and that it's kind of weird I don't know how it's like magic when you put it in water it kind of loses its sticky because obviously it's sitting in water but then when you bring it out onto your mat and you dry it off and you clean it off you've got all your chalk off you use a little bit of a Clorox wipe on the back and it makes it sticky again and so that way you can put it right back onto your carrier sheet. I'm just going over this with a little bit more pressure for my second time because, like I said, I want to make sure I'm getting all that excess chalk paste off and so that I can put that right back into my jar so that I can use it for many, many different projects. I think I'm gonna use yellow again down here, so let's pull this off. Just being careful that we don't pull too hard because we don't wanna stretch out our transfer I want to get as many projects out of this transfer that I can. How cute! The yellow looks really adorable on there. Okay, so I think I'm going to turn this to its side over here and, um, and do yellow down here as well. Now the great thing too about Chalk Couture is that um, you can mix and match different I can see a bubble there. It's okay if a bubble is right here in the green area, but we just don't want any bubbles in the silk screen. Sorry, I interrupted myself. Um, we can mix and match different transfer sets. So with one of the transfer sets that I have, um, it also has cute little, um, little hearts on it. So I can go in and fill in all the areas with different hearts from the different transfers that I have for Valentine's Day. Just something to keep in mind. Mix and matching transfers is fun. Okay, again, just putting our chalk paste on here. I see a bubble, but like I said, that happened earlier. Not a big deal. We're gonna be putting words over here, and if it doesn't come out how I want it, then I can just get a little bit of water on there and get it off, no big deal. I'm also putting my squeegees in the water because the squeegees are reusable as well. They're like a, they kind of feel like a silicone to me and um, they just help you get your, your chalk paste over your transfer. 
So if you just put those into the water bath as well, then clean them off and you can reuse those as well. So yeah, there is, see this is what I meant about when you see the bubble. Let's see how that happened right there. Not a big deal. I'm not always a perfectionist with all of my projects. So little imperfections here and there, that doesn't bother me at all. I think it makes it look, um, I think it makes it, look, makes it look a little bit better sometimes, honestly. It gives it a little rustic look and you know, not everybody's perfect and not everything is perfect, so. Okay, let's add this color. Oh, this color is amazing. This is Dreamsicle. So again, just going through here, covering these all with our chalk paste. And I apologize if I'm missing anybody that's coming in. I'll just give a global hello to everybody tonight and hope that you guys are all having a fantastic evening and staying warm. Let's set that down. And again, remember, just try not to pull too hard. And these are actually not sticking that hard, so it's not a big deal. Just want to make sure that we're grabbing from our ends here and not stretching our transfer. Dreamsicle looks good. Now I really need to go out and get candy heart candy. Love it. Love it. Let's put another Dreamsicle down here. Well, I have this one down here. And as I was mentioning, um, on the online store where you can purchase all these products, the chalk paste are two ounce jars that are $8.99. The squeegee that I showed earlier is $4.99, and then we have this amazing squeegee, which is our angled squeegee, and that is available for $10.99, which, again, they're, they're, you keep using them over and over again, so you definitely get your money's worth. I can't tell you how many projects I've made using these reusable squeegees and silkscreen transfers. Additionally... I can't say enough about being a designer with this company. The parks are amazing. Meeting so many different people, that to me is amazing. And if you're interested in that, I would love to talk to you more about um, you starting your own business and joining my team. What better way to start 2018 than investing in yourself and starting your own little fun business? I think that's awesome. I actually, now that I'm looking, I'm going to add one more mint down here, and then I think we will be good to go. I actually realized I put my mint squeegee in here, so I'm just going to clean that off real quick and put my mint squeegee in my water. So I'm just going to clean that off. Just grab a paper towel, and then I can get this last one done, and then we can pick some cute words to put on there. The Chalk Couture paste does go on wet. It only takes a couple minutes to dry. You can help the speed the process of drying along if you'd like by using a heating tool or a hair dryer. Um, either one is perfectly fine. And that just helps the drying process go a little bit quicker, especially when you're doing videos like this and you're trying to, um, trying to be fast and not keep people away from their their families and their dinner times. So I'm just trying to do this as quick as I can for you guys. Get a little bit more chalk paste on there. We are just about done our last tart. So all that we need to do is add our fun sayings. And then I need to run myself to the store to get candy to put in here now. <laughs> okay, perfect. So I think the first time I did this project, I, for the life of me, because I haven't seen candy hearts in a year, I should have just Googled it. I couldn't remember what color the, the wording was. Um, and then I actually just saw that it's red. 
I think red or orange. I'm not real sure. Red or orange? Well, I think I'm going to go with red. I think red's really going to pop. Make it look really cute. So what I'm doing now is I'm just covering all of my chalk paste jars with the little plastic tab that you got because um, I just, you know, trying to prevent it from drying out. Like I said, not a big deal if it does dry out. All that you need to do is add just a little bit of water and that will get your chalk paste in like a yogurt-like consistency. You can tell I'm stalling for time. I'm just waiting for these to dry so I don't have to turn my hair dryer on. Um, so, as I said, I'm just covering all the lids up so that it doesn't dry out. Let me get a hold of my red chalk paste and we'll give that a quick stir. Move these guys out of the way. And um, some of the chalk paste that we have have been reformulated and this red is a brand new reformulated one the the colors that i was using previously here are actually the older colors still can use them not a problem it's just that you'll notice that the red has a little bit uh, more like a fluffy kind of consistency am i holding that up so you can see it has more of a fluffy consistency which is kind of cool it goes on really really nicely now, because I am layering, and I hate to do this to you guys, I am going to just take a hair dryer to this very, very quickly. Because when you're putting um, words over top, this is dry, by the way. This yellow that I did. It's already dry. This one that I just did, however, is not quite dry. But when you are layering, you want to make sure that this is thoroughly dried. Because when you put the second layer on and then the red chalk paste for the words, you don't want to peel up the yellow that's on here. So bear with me for a moment. I'm going to just blow dry this really quickly. I'll be right back. Actually, <laughs> might help if I had a hair dryer by me, but I don't. I just looked down and realized I don't have my hair dryer there. So you know what I'm going to do? This one's still wet, so we're going to start here. This is the first one that I did. We're going to start with that one. And then by the time I make my way around, we should be in good shape. So, let's do love on here. So again, I have the back of my transfer labeled with love. So I know that that's how I want to put my transfer back on when I'm completely done. And it's cleaned off. So let's put love right here. I'm not going to add a lot of pressure here. I'm just lightly placing my finger over it so that I can make sure that it's on there with no bubbles, but I don't want to peel off the mint green under there. So I'm just going to do this kind of sort of lightly. And um, I actually have one of the squeegees that I mentioned, and I'm just gonna actually cut it in half just because I have my other squeegees packed up for an event. So this is one that I had whole. So literally I just cut it in half so that I could work with it. I can use it um, to get in here for these words. And remember, you only need to cover the silk screen part. You don't need to cover the, the uh, I guess that's like a teal color. Teal green, I'm not really sure. So we just want to, I put way too much on there. So let's just go over this one more time, getting all that excess off. I just go right across like so. See how I just pulled all that chalk paste right off of there? That goes right back into my jar. So we can take this off. Love it. Can you see how cute that came out? They have so many great words that you can put on top of your candies. So they have, I love you, be mine, be true, kiss me. Oh, how about kiss me? I want to do kiss me down here. I think on our dreamsicle heart down here, I'm going to put kiss me. And it definitely, definitely looks like red. I was earlier saying, I'm not sure, is it red or is it orange, the words? But I'm, now that I see it, it definitely, I think, is red. So again, just making sure... Then I pressed over that so that I don't have any bubbles. And covering it lightly with my chalk paste. 
not pushing too too hard because this is layering and you want to make sure that you're not going to be pulling up the dreamsicle color underneath so we just just apply just a little bit of pressure oh that looks so cute white i think but i but i like the red oh is it white jess what the heck am i thinking oh my god i really should have googled it before i started this project no oh well i like the red the red. I mean, I could try white on a couple of them, but I think, I uh, know, I'm going to stick with the red. So, let's do XOXO. That's a cute one. Feels pretty dry to me. And remember, this is the one that I goofed a little bit and had a bubble, but um, I think that the red is going to make this pop that probably I'm not even going to notice that bubble down there. I think I'm probably wrong. I like the red though. Okay, yeah, me too, Jess. I like the red too. And I guess I could like mix and match it, but for right now, I'm just gonna keep it with the red. Maybe on my next candy heart project, whatever I decide to uh, to use for my next project with the candy heart transfer, maybe I'll do it in white and just see see how that looks. Just getting all of my excess back off. And we are good. See how quick and easy this is? Layering is not that hard at all. Oh, I spoke too soon. Look what happened. My yellow wasn't dry and I pushed too hard. Oh, oh. Not a big deal. I can just get my water and start all over again with that one. But because I don't want to keep you guys and go through all that again, I'm just going to keep on going on. This one's definitely dry. How about we do, I love you on here, that's so cute. That's awesome. I kind of liked, really, really like the red on top of the Dreamsicle. I think those two colors look really good together. It's so Valentine's-y. Is that even a word? I don't know, I just made it up. Okay, we are almost done, guys. Yeah, see, that one was definitely a lot drier. And as I mentioned, as I'm peeling these off, and I apologize, you probably can keep hearing my chair as I get up and down, uh, I'm just popping these right into my little tray of water so that I'm making sure that I get all my chop paste off. And then that way, now yellow was the one that wasn't dry down here. This feels dry, so let's give it a whirl. We'll see what happens. How about that one? How about you rock on there? That's cool. This will look so cute. Um, you could either, you could actually put like your Valentine's um, flowers in here if you wanted to. I kind of like the idea of putting the, the candy hearts right in there. I think that'll be cute. Okay, got that one. Pretty good. Now, yellow, don't don't disappoint me. Don't pull up. Yep, that one's perfect. Perfect. I don't know what happened with that. Um, that yellow down there, why that wasn't dry. I wonder if it's because it had, had bubbled here, maybe. Interesting. Like I said, not a big deal. I'm going to go and fix it. How about, what should our last one be? Now this was the last one that I did and this actually, hmm, I think it's okay. I think it's dry enough. If not, like I said, we'll test it out and we'll see what's what. And if I need to erase it with a little bit of water, then that is fine. I don't know about anybody else, but I always do, and I say this to Jess all the time, I always do a project and I have to look at it for like a day or two and then I wind up going back and adding something or taking it away until I get it to, to my version of perfect. Um, because my version of perfect might not be someone else's version of perfect, but sometimes I just have to like sit with the design for a day or two and then go back and add or take things away until I get it just how I like it. 
So we have our candy hearts. Done, our little cute bees. How awesome is that? Now that's the one we're gonna fix. But I think that came out really cute. Oh, I missed a comment. Now there are some red, I think it depends on the brand you buy. You might be right, Tiffany. Yeah, I, I don't know why I was thinking red or orange, but yeah. I wonder if on the on some of them they are white. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna have to buy some candy and find out, aren't I? But um yeah, I think this came out really cute, guys. I'm probably gonna go ahead and fool with it a little bit more, fix the one that, that pulled up. Um, just wash that off with a little bit of water and redo and then I'm gonna go for my other transfer pack I have little hearts and I'm just gonna fill in some of the spaces around here with hearts So once I get it to where I like it I will definitely post a picture in the comments below so that you guys can see what my final design is going to be but I thank you for joining me tonight and I hope you all have a fantastic evening and I will talk to you soon. Bye